We back. Yes, we back. I'm KG. That's TG. And you're listening to F O E F C football over everything. You like that intro? You like it? You like it? Love it, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's the new one, man. How you doing, man? This is episode 25. How you feeling about the lucky number 25, TG? I'm I'm feeling solid, bro. I'm feeling solid. I like I like um I like the pace we've been moving at. Yeah. I think uh everything is coming c- coming together nicely. The season is a week away. We're almost yeah. there. Big one. Big one. Really big one. And, I, and I'm excited, man. No, uh it's women's month. Um women's so, month. We're gonna, so we're gonna do something that I don't know people, if you listen to our podcast and you listen to football podcasts, I feel like people aren't highlighting women's football enough. And since it's Women's Month and we are F-O-E-F-C, we have to. <laughs> we have to. We have to, we have, we have to speak about it, man. Let's speak about it, man. Let's touch on it. Um, Why? This, this is just out there. Why? Do men not watch women's football? Why do we not support women's football? I want to start there. Why do you think is the problem of women's football? In fact, let me phrase that question like that. What do you think is the problem with women's football? The thing is, like, I can't speak about, like, the general spectrum. I, I'm not sure, bro, to be honest. But, like, for me, it's just something I never really paid attention to. You know what I'm saying? I never watched women's football. Like, this is the first World Cup I'm actually watching, dog. Like, I kept up, like, with news and stuff. But, like, this is the first time I'm actually watching the Women's World Cup. And, like, it's dope. I'm not going to lie. It's dope. I've been sleeping on it. And um, I can't answer you as to why I haven't been um, watching women's football, bro, to be honest. Yeah, man. It's one of those, um, I speak about it with, like, um, with people and... Usually the answer, like, let me say from, from other people, usually the answer is, it's not good enough, honestly. The quality is not there. It's like you're watching. You can't even say, it's like you're watching academy players at certain points. At certain points, it's like mm-hmm. you're watching academy players. And I'm like, when I speak to guys, I'm like, there's no way, man. When you watch like a good team, like if it's like Netherlands and Bafana, Bafana got knocked out, by the way, 2 0. But shout out Banyana Banyana. Why am I saying Bafana? Shout out to Banyana making history. First team to qualify to the Scandal 16 with that low ranking. But we did it. Shout out to Banyana, man. Shout out. Shout out. But yeah, there's usually like the games aren't competitive. And I'm like watching this World Cup. I'm like, man, yeah, sometimes the goalkeeper does do like, does look like I'm in goal. Tishan's been a goalkeeper. I'll be honest. It does. Why, why? Why? Why me, bro? <laughs> it's like Tishan is a goal. <laughs> but besides that, it's really it's really gotten better. To be honest, I think we have to support it a little bit more and watch it because it's actually good. If you watch certain games, it's actually good, man. And I think we gotta watch it in a way. You know, we have we to. have to watch it. Bro. We have to. I've been enjoying it, to be honest. I've been enjoying it. Let me not even lie. I've been enjoying it. Um, the the big shocker, I, like, if you haven't been watching women's football, like, to everyone, the best team in women's football is the USA. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Usually, um, usually uh, Alex Morgan, what's that other lady's name? Uh, Megan Rapino. Those people, dog. They they've been running the game for a while. USA okay. just got knocked out. But that's the earliest they've ever been knocked out. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, man. Look, I was, honestly, I was surprised. Like I said, like, we keep up with women's football, but we never really watch it and pay attention. And like you said, usually USA is the powerhouse of, like, women's football. Yeah. But then they just got knocked out by Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. Sweden knocked them out? Yeah, Sweden knocked them out, bro, no, on penalties. But, like, still, they they out. Yeah, man, this is that's a big L for them right now, man. Like that's that's like a super big L for them, but maybe it's needed, man. I'm happy that it's competitive. I'm happy that like people like even though we weren't paying attention, we always knew USA was good. Clearly now other countries got better and can compete with USA yeah. actually mm-hmm. at them. So that means in general, as a whole, women's football has been getting better. We just haven't been noticing it. <laughs> Nah, 100, bro. 100%. And, like, I like the surge of women's football in general. Like, even, like, 
on on the last FIFA cover, dog. It was Mbappe and I forgot the lady's name from Chelsea, but she was on the cover as well. Yeah. With, with Mbappe, which is crazy. Um, in the new EAFC Ultimate Team, there is like women's football is in FIFA officially on yeah. Ultimate Team. How crazy is that? That is this look, man. That is super crazy, dog. It's like it's super crazy, but I won't lie. I won't lie to you, Tishi. They need to get better, man. Like at some point, <laughs> like they need to get better, man. They really do. And like, okay, I get the fact that as as guys, we need to support them. I agree, right? I do agree. Um, but I wanted to like say. You know what would also help? Women actually watching women soccer. Like 100 percent I don't think I they watch it. About, I'm like, why aren't the women supporting the women stuff? 100 percent 100 percent dog. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak about this, bro. Like it's weird. Like, why and like people will like say men in general don't watch women's football, we don't support women's football, but women mm. aren't doing it either. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing, like. You you guys aren't watching. <laughs> like, okay, we we messing up here and there. Okay, we're not watching women's football. Because in the beginning, in the latest years ago, we like, it's not competitive. It's not good enough. But clearly now, it's more digestible. We can watch it now. During this World Cup, we can, we can watch it. Now we're saying, hey, yo, women, can you please support women? Because now we have people like us who like are watching it. And we're like, okay, we're watching it. But I didn't see one woman post anything. <laughs> woman football. One hundred percent. Come on now. One hundred percent, dog. Come on. And the thing is, like, I know so much, like, uh, women that I speak to about football in general, bro. Yeah. And everyone's talking about the game that just passed, the Arsenal and City game. But like, no one's talking about the Women's World Cup. And I'm like, <laughs> why? Like, why? It makes no sense. Why is no one speaking about the Women's World Cup? It's Women's Month. It landed on a perfect time. And honestly, yes, we do like football. So us, we're going to watch it. We're going to... It's more digestible. Like, I don't know if women football has gotten better, so we're going to watch it. But women also need to watch it and give it a chance. I know it's a, it's a mainly men-dominated sport, as in, like, viewership. But then it would help if the girls are, like, Yo, did you see? Did you see Sweden? Did you see Netherlands? Did you see France? Then you go to like imagine speaking to a girl about what you're gonna be like, yo, I watch it. Yo, I didn't watch it. You watched it. Then you're like, yo. I think we just solved it right now. I think we just exactly, bro. Get to watch it. And like <laughs> we need we need you to watch it. Because like it's it's amazing, dog. And like the thing is, I didn't know. I, I never ever watched how I'm watching it now, dog. And it's 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 so dope, man. I, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it at the time, man. Um, before we wrap it up, I was watching it was France against I think Panama or something. I want to ask, what's your favorite moment so far in the women's World Cup? Like right now, that's that's happening. What's your favorite moment in in the World Cup so far? I'm gonna I'm gonna be biased, dog, and I'm gonna say um just like the fact that 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 last game with uh with Benyana, dog. Yeah. Before we qualified for the under sixteen. Yeah, that that last game was amazing, dog. So I'm gonna be a bit biased, and I'm gonna say that game. I won't lie. I won't lie. I was gonna about to say the same thing. We beat Italy. We beat. We beat Bo Pablo. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but Italy, look, Banyana did. It was a historic moment. I watched the game. I lost my voice. Nearly lost my voice. That game was that epic. But to me, like my, the biggest moment. It was this France against Panama. I don't know what country it was. The free kick. You see that free kick? Outside, I, I didn't. Know. didn't outside play. the box. Like, I don't know. Like, far though. Like, far. And she bended it top corner. Clean. Like, Beckham. <laughs> like it was Beckham, Warcraft, Typhi. I looked at this woman and I was like, we need you United. <laughs> we need you in New Manchester United right now. Sign this woman today. That free kick was amazing. Obviously, I want to say Banyana, but I was like, nah, that free kick is the one, man. That free kick is the one. Nah, nah before... I feel you, bro. Uh, predictions, dog. How 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 you feeling? Who do you think is gonna take this World Cup, dog? Look, man. Obviously, I don't like them because they knocked out um Banyana, but I just think Netherlands, man. 
they went to the final last time. I think this is, might be the, the year to actually win it all. You know, Netherlands. I was going to say Banyana, but they knocked us out. If I think we didn't have injuries, we we're going to give them problems. There are two injuries. Probably. Three players. We we're going to knock them out. We we're going to... They were shaky. 100, bro. 100, man. For me, I, I'm stuck between two th- two teams, dog. Okay. I feel like England could go all the way. They're playing right now against Nigeria. It's going to um, extra time. I feel like England, England can take it. Um. Also, Spain. I feel like Sp- mm-hmm. Spain has the best play in the world. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I think Spain can take this World Cup as well. So I think, for me, I think it's between the two of them. I think it's been Spain. Ah, but you know, Nigeria, Nigeria got the sauce, man. So I don't think, I think Nigeria is going to do the things that need to be done in general. But I want an African team to reach the semifinals, man. I'm tired. I want, no. they just knocked out Banyana TG now. They want to knock out Nigeria. What's wrong, man? Let no, Africa no. win something, man. But yo, before course, we wrap it up, is like Nigeria and Morocco still in it, so there's there's still hope, bro. Ah, dog, we need, dog, we need, like, dog. I'm tired of Africa not going far, dog. I'm tired, dog. It's our time, dog. It's our time. One hundred, dog. One hundred. I'm I'm excited. I will see. We'll see where it goes, bro. We'll see where it goes, man. Um, we'll see where it goes. Episode twenty five. Yeah, it's been a good episode twenty five. Before we wrap it up, I want to, to to end it on this note. I don't know, this note. And it's not, like, you probably wonder what I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna like, listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Should women get equal pay as guys in soccer? In Ooh. soccer, do you think women should have equal pay with the men? The thing is, I- I'm not too sure what's what's the gap. To be honest, right? But like, I don't think so. My personal opinion is, I don't think so. And I'll tell you why, dog. Because like. How like the viewership is so different, you know what I'm saying? So if the viewership was similar, yeah. I, I wouldn't contend. With it. But like because the viewership is so different, like I don't Alexia Buteas is the best women's footballer on the planet right now, right? Yeah. I don't see her earning as much as Ronaldo. Like it, it just doesn't <laughs> it doesn't add up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I totally agree. Some people say it's like um men, men we like gatekeeping for them or something but like i'm like hey man this is it's about money at the end of the day now they're earning like i think half the amount the the the, the men were earning from the world cup because usually i think it was like way worse but now they're earning half and it and like i get them saying like yo we want to earn the same as men but you have to bring in the same amount of views i don't even think it's like because you woman it's just like a business thing at this point of like yo we need the same amount of views if you're gonna do what you want to call get the same amount of money. It doesn't make sense me paying you the same as Messi if there's no Messi viewership. You hear me? That's just... That's 100%, just, dog. That's just... 100%. That's just facts, man. But yeah, that's been episode 25. Women's football, Women's Month. Uh, I'm KG. That's TG. And this is um, FBFC. Football over everything. We back. We out.